How's it? Indian Cowboy Doc Sports Doc. I'm connection on Tuesday, March the 8th. We're going to make this video pretty quick for you. It's already late in the day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hello, I'm Indian Cowboy, and this is Doc Sports. Indian Cowboy has been around for 18 years and two months, and Doc Sports has been around for 52 cool years. And uh, have your free pick winner in just a second for you after we gave you Santa Clara. I know the title said the Hawks and the Pistons. We had an issue with the title, but we clearly stated that the free play was Santa Clara, and I think all of you knew that. So hopefully we'll get you another free play winner today. It is between Chicago State and Utah Valley, which is kind of, seems kind of random, but it's a late-night ball game, and it is up there. It will be up on the board for you on the big board between Chicago State and Utah Valley, and I'll also talk to you about the Clippers and Golden State as well. I'm very tempted to change the Clippers-Golden State, make that the uh, main selection. But uh, you know what? Why don't we do that? Let's make it between the Clippers and Golden State. And in that way... Uh, I don't know how many of you actually have access to the Chicago State-Utah Valley game. So your free play is going to be between Ch Clippers and Golden State. I'll talk to you about Chicago State and Utah Valley. YouTube Premium, it's between the Bucks and Oklahoma City and Cal Poly and UC Davis. And hopefully we'll get you a nice YouTube Premium uh, winner today. Hello, I am Indian Cowboy. And as you know, this is Doc Sports. How this works is our best selections are over at DocSports.com, our next best selections. And that's under Indian Cowboy. And then we have a lot of other great handicappers there. Uh, in addition to that, um, our next best selections are YouTube Premium Selections, which is two extra thoughts every single day on a separate video. And uh, that's been on a really good run long term. We're sitting at 118 and 82, 19 and 10, and we just went 21 and uh, 9 for the last month. Uh, we missed the play yesterday, but 70% so far over the last month in YouTube Premium, not to mention 60% for about six months. And uh, on top of the daily video, the two extra selections, you get a live show once a week, which is Thursday night at 9 o'clock. Uh, and on top of that, TGIF Friday, you get all the selections for free uh, for Indian Cowboy on Friday as well. Before I forget, I left you a note yesterday. Uh, be sure to, let me see if I can find that note for you. But basically, uh, well, I'll tell the YouTube premium folks about that later. Don't worry about it. But um, but yeah, and then uh, we do the, so basically you get 100 extra selections for just $20 a month. So be sure to take a moment uh, and sign up for that. It's um, The link is pinned to the comment section up top and also free $60 worth of premium picks pinned to the comment section at the top as well all right if you want even more content hop onto our twitter uh, it has our consensus polls on late night ball games free plays and leans and uh, trivia questions and poems and limericks on sports and our hot takes as well a lot of funny stuff on twitter that we post um what's on tap today well we have a seven unit selection today in college basketball which goes off at seven o'clock we come off a nice seven unit winner yesterday on right state as they hooked up against Cleveland State and the game went over. And we also had three five-unit selections on Sunday. We're on a 4-0, 19-8, plus 4,900 run in college basketball. And uh, on top of that, we took a, uh, we won the NBA on the Miami Heat to beat the Houston Rockets. We're passing on the NBA today. We have two big selections in the NBA tomorrow. And we're sitting plus 6,500 in the NBA. We have rare four hockey selections today. We're plus 3,500 in hockey, including a 6-2 and two and 9-3 and three run, I believe. We went 2-0 and oh in the MMA this past weekend. Uh, on top of all of this, we have golf, which we are on a three and one run as we continue to kick tail in golf here. And uh, we're excited about our seven year college ball selection, excited about the NBA, the NHL, golf, and MMA. So be sure to take a moment and sign up for all of that, not to mention YouTube Premium. Your free play today is I like the Clippers and Golden State under the posted total. You can find a lot of different numbers here, but um, let's go with, I think I saw 220 something. Let's go with 224, 224, Clippers and Golden State under. I know Golden State's played in four straight overs, but I still like the under here. Surprise, Golden State is only a small favorite. Clippers won by 15 last time. Clippers just lost 93 to 116 to the Knicks. They gave 116 points to the Knicks, by the way. That's horrible. Warriors have revenge, though, from losing to the these feisty Clippers the previous time. So they'll step up on defense. Clippers will step up on defense because of a bad game the game before. Golden State has lost five in a row now. Uh, the last four games for Golden State have gone over, mind you. But whenever Golden State bounces back, it's typically to the under. And every time they come off a seven-game road trip, the last uh, seven out of three or seven out of ten times, the next game typically the game has gone under. The under is also five and zero for the Clippers in their last five road games as well. And I think Golden State gets back on track on defense with some revenge and after four straight losses. And I think Clippers, after a bad loss to the Knicks, they get back on uh, defense as well. Remember, they were looking forward to this Warriors game. They just didn't care about the Knicks, so they just looked ahead to this particular game. I also like the under between Chicago State and Utah Valley, 7-24 and and 19-11 teams hooking up here. Utah Valley won by 19 last time, and the game went over 180 points. I don't think that happens here. Utah Valley scored over 100 points on Chicago State last time. 
Chicago State beat New Mexico State, lost to Seattle by only eight points. Utah Valley comes off back-to-back losses here. Remember, this team lost to B, uh, this team beat BYU earlier this year, so they certainly have potential. But I hate to take such a big underdog here because these seven and twenty-one teams always show up in conference play. It seems, but I can't imagine them. Uh, I just can't imagine this game to be as high-scoring as it was last time. The under is six and zero for the Cougars when they are an underdog at neutral site. And the under is 5-1 for Utah Valley coming off of an ATS loss, which means they typically play better in their next game. That is what we have for you guys. That's your content there. Hope you guys are doing well. YouTube Premium, I'll see you with the selection here between the Bucks in Oklahoma City and Cal Poly and UC Davis in just a second. If you enjoyed the content today, please take a moment to like and subscribe, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Indian Cowboy working hard for you every single day.